once again. Uh, congratulations to the champion, Zebra. Uh, please stand up. Uh, headed by Sir Pete Natividad, the coaches, principals, students, and delegates, and parents. Congratulations. So we will have the uh, further discussion later. But antes de todo, quiero kita darle el placa de apreciación. Ta presenta con an office for the coordination of humanitarian affairs, OCHA. Por el dedicado esfuerzo for the dedicated efforts y servicio y extende con el pueblo soberano to the city para el protección, for the protection y defensa del ciudad de Zamboanga and defense of the city durante el conflicto del septiembre 2013 during the conflict in 2013 y por estar unida na convicción de un bandera, un nación y un ciudad, y un ciudad de Zamboanga. And for uh, being with united in our conviction of one flag, one nation, and one city of Zamboanga. With great gratitude, the city government of Zamboanga recognizes the assistance given to alleviate and recuperate and rehabilitate the people of Zamboanga after the crisis. This uh, certificate of appreciation is given February 26, 2014, Paseo del Mar, to the OCHA, the Office for Humanitarian Coordination, Humanitarian Affairs. We'd like to ask uh, Sir Farah and uh, Ms. Malou to receive this. So the OCHA is the coordinating unit for all the humanitarian affairs of the city. So, buenos dias a todos. The naming of Sambuangueño Mark Barroca as PBA's most valuable player for 2013-2014 All-Filipino Philippine Cup title and the victory of our Zamboanga City delegation in the recently concluded 2014 Zebra Amit, in addition to the successful conduct of the 77th Dia de Zamboanga activities, are milestones and breakthroughs that give us inspiration and hope. The, the week that was, was a tough one for the city, but we persevere, for it is our mandate, and most importantly, our commitment to look after the welfare of our constituents, albeit the challenges. <coughs> we really would like to congratulate Sir Pete Natividad and his team, Samwanga, because you have guided our children. They've shown to us resiliency, that despite of the unavailability of the grandstand, the students, the athletes among themselves, found a way for them to really play hard, work hard, and thank God we are the champions. We commend the police and the military for the peaceful and orderly conduct of the different activities celebrating the 77th Dia de Zamboanga from February 24th to March 1, highlighted by the documentary of the city mayors, the cheer dance competition, the Local Achievers Awards, and the inauguration of the Cinematheque Zamboanga, and the opening of the second Zamboanga International Film Fest, the Grand Civic Military Parade, commemorative program, the Open Air Peace Concert, the Ninth Philippine Bird Festival, as well as the mega sales supported by our different um, industries in the city and the department stores that drew to Zamboanga bird watchers from other parts of the country and the globe. We also laud the participa participants in different activities, the public and the city tourism office for organizing the events, as well as the private groups that also initiated other activities in celebration of the Dia de Zamboanga. We would like to thank the persons in the chamber and the industry that supported the sales of the city. As part of the celebration and as a personal token to the city government employees, we also had the Casamiento del Pueblo last Friday, administering for the first time in the history of 106 years City Hall, the wedding of 12 couples who vowed and have been living together as common law partners in building a family the past several years. We condole with the family of Branch 14 Judge Reinerio Stasio Sr who was killed by unidentified gunmen inside his service vehicle in front of his house in Tubungan last February 28th. We are outraged by the incident and strongly condemn it. 
We have directed the police to thoroughly probe into the case and to swiftly identify and apprehend the perpetrators. The police have to take drastic moves to curb all forms of lawlessness in the city. The local government assures its full support to the police and military as we want these crime incidents stopped. Security along with health and education are our priorities and we will not stop until we con provide concrete solutions. The PNP units have met as a composite group to expedite the resolution of the Stasio case and the chief executive met with representatives from the judiciary, including city prosecutor, the legal officer, and the police to discuss about security details. The barangay officials are tasked to strengthen intelligence network system and we appeal for continuous civilian cooperation. Let us heighten alert against all suspicious personalities and activities in our own localities. Colonel Casimiro has submitted a consolidated integrated comprehensive plan this is a particular copy that they, they gave to us. And um, last February 25, a day ahead of the deadline. The plan will now be presented to the local government for deliberation and discussion, and eventually the concurrence and the use as a security manual in the city. Last week, Samboanga City, as well as other areas in Mindanao, began power curtailment due to low power generation by suppliers. Some Selco has imposed rational brownouts in all feeders for an average of six to eight hours a day. Engineer George Ledesma of the Samselco will discuss this issue later. In our rehabilitation efforts, we continue to ensure that our internally displaced persons get the necessary assistance and support from the government and humanitarian organizations. As a follow through of our presentation last week, we are happy to inform you about new developments. On March 10, the groundbreaking of the Mariki Rehabilitation Project will commence. The PTSI in Calarian, the one hectare area transitory site, will be ready for occupancy by March 28, and 29 rooms will be initially occupied, while more than 79 will be constructed and completed within two weeks by the IOM. Per record from the UN OCHA, the population in nine evacuation centers and four transitory sites is 4,918 families or 26,128 individuals as of 28 February. In Tulungatung, the site development for additional five hectare property will start soon. We have stepped up consultations and dialogues with concerned groups in line with our policy on transparency and accountability. Last week, we engaged the Muslim Women Group, Al Muminat Foundation, to clarify issues about the IDP situation and the C3R updates. We have been conducting similar activities the past months, and this week we will be going to the to have a ground to the ground for a, an info caravan. While we are tied up with issues concerning our IDPs and preparations for the C3R implementation, we assure that that we are not remiss in our duties and responsibilities for other sectors in society. Infrastructure projects are continuously undertaken through the city engineer's office. Our traffic enforcement and other laws and city ordinances are implemented through the city administrator's office and the social welfare programs continue unabated notwithstanding the trials. Last Thursday, we distributed financial assistance to victims of the fire that happened in Santa Maria and Mampang the past months. And finally, to help our administration achieve its goals and targets, we make sure that we have the right people in the right place. In line with this, we would like to introduce to you our newly appointed City Human Resource Management Officer, Dr. Jane De La Cruz Bascar. With her impeccable credentials, PhD in Development Studies, Master's in Business Administration Management, an Asian Development Bank Full Scholarship grantee, summa cum laude graduate of the Ateneo de Zamboanga, and valedictorian of Batch 1982, the Batch of Engineer Sikat and Counselor Myra, and the years of experience in both government and private agencies and in the corporate world, we have no doubt that Dr. Chain has the skills, competencies, and expertise to accomplish the demands and responsibilities expected of a human resource management officer. 
Since July, Dr. Baskar has been with us as an executive assistant and later as head of the recovery cluster. And we have seen how she performed her task. And so without reservations and with full confidence, we say that she will be an asset in the executive department as we strive to deliver quality service to our constituents. Perhaps at this time, we'd like to also ask Dr. Rodel Agbulos to please join us up front and let us listen to a few words uh, to Dr. Jane on her plans for the HR department. 